everyone, it's Monday, May 5th, and that means it's Cinco de Mayo, so I have a craft for Cinco de Mayo for you. I have some terracotta pots, which are inexpensive, and they're always fun to craft with. And I have yellow, red, and green acrylic paint. So I'm going to start with the yellow, and I'm going to start with the big one. And what we're going to be making are sombreros. And this is how they're going to be. So you want to get your pot, and then you want to get a bigger saucer. Now you'll see how it's coming together, but I'm going to paint them before I stick them together. And I'm going to start with the yellow. These are the three basic colors that I'm going to use. If I feel like I want to add a blue to one of them after, I'll do that. But those, but let's just see how that goes. So I'm going to just completely paint the top and the bottom of this one yellow. It's a nice bright yellow. They use primary colors. The pots and the saucers are all painted. I didn't bother painting the inside, but I did get like the inner rim here. And now we've got three sombreros, but they don't really look like sombreros yet. So we want to decorate them a little bit further. I'm going to stay a little more simple with this. You can get as colorful, as crazy with the design as you want. Now I'm going to work on the bigger one just because it's a little bit easier to see. And I'm going to make the band Right here is going to be the band. I'm going to make that red on this one. I will go yellow on the green one and I will go green on the red one. Then we'll let it dry and I'm, this is going to take two coats. So we'll let it dry and then we'll come back. The bands have dried on the pots and now what I'm going to do is a little more color. And on this one, I'm going to take the green, and again, do whatever color combination you want. And all I'm going to do is paint a triangle down. Just like that. And then right next to it, I'm going to go up and do another triangle. And I'm going to do this all the way around the band. And I'm going to do this in alternating colors on each of the different pots. So now you can kind of see what I mean. Now the sombreros are dry and you've got the choice where you can glue this onto the base which was what I was originally going to do but then I kind of thought about it and I had a different idea. So I'll get to that later. But I have these pom-poms in red, green, yellow, and white and I'm going to just kind of place them around and I'm going to kind of get some spacing done before I start gluing. And I am going to take my hot glue and if you're working with kids then they can use just other glue. That'll work fine too. I'm going to put it right up here. Put a little dot, plop it on. Okay, now I'm going to go with the very opposite one and that's why I placed it that way. And this is how I'm going to get my spacing hopefully pretty good. Everything's all painted and dry and here is the larger one. And if you'll notice I put the pom-poms on the outside. Originally I had them up on top but then I changed it. And here are the little ones. And all I've done is I've taken like names, my name and my husband's name, and printed it out on the printer and then I cut it out with some decorative scissors and then took a marker along the edge just to kind of finish it off a little bit. I'm taking a skewer stick and I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to just take a little bit of hot glue, put it right in the middle here and I don't want the stick to be perfectly straight so I'm going to put it on an angle. Now you have these cute little place card holders, right? So that's cute, but you can make it a little bit cuter even. You can make this treats that people take home or you can use them every year again. I didn't glue this into place and I actually didn't glue these into place and I'll show you why. I'm going to take some M&Ms and I'm doing the M&Ms just because they have the fun, bright, bold colors be a little too many and you can use, I'm using the peanut M&M's on this one. 
And then you put it down like that and you kind of wedge this guy right in there. If you have one too many, pop one out. There you go. Now it sits nice and straight. Now it's a treat and a little place card. See, isn't that cute? And now you can do the same thing with this, the larger one. You can put some treats in there or not. You can put a little glass underneath there, a little glass vase or a little glass, and actually have a flower coming out of the top if you want. Or you could, you know, anything you want. Anything you want sticking out of there. You could have notes sticking out of there, Happy Cinco de Mayo, or whatever you want. So I hope you like it. And this is just an example of different things that you can do to make a festive table. And this in particular for Cinco de Mayo. So have a happy Cinco de Mayo. Enjoy a margarita if you're old enough. And we'll see you next time. Happy crafting.